Good morning, good morning. The pumpkin ghost has been back. Let me tell you the story of the pumpkin. So, as you guys might remember, I bought a little fabric pumpkin which used to live on my books here. But Tilly seems to think it's one of her toys. To be fair, it does look a lot like her toys in here. <laughs> so every morning it's really funny because I come down the stairs and this is just the first thing that I see, just a pumpkin on the floor. How are you today? Did you have a nice sleep? <laughs> what are your plans for today? Hopefully your day is going to be full of lots of naps. Sounds like the best kind of day. You want some breakfast? Yep, breakfast. Oh. Oh, we caught the culprit in action. <laughs> oh my god. Is that frost? I think that might just be condensation, but I'm going to say it's frost. Good morning, my loves. How is everyone? Oh my gosh. When you guys will be watching this, it'll be the first weekend of October. It is currently Saturday morning. I just really fancied vlogging this weekend. It's going to be quite a chilled one for us. I think we're going to pop over to Rushton Lakes, which is like a little shopping centre about 45 minutes away. And they've got a few restaurants, a few little shops. Um, so I think we're going to go over there today. And to be honest, it's just going to be like a cosy, chilled weekend. And yeah, I just felt like having you all in my pocket this weekend. As weird as that sounds. First things first, though, I need some caffeine. Um, mug of choice. Wait for the kettle to boil, like. As I was getting my coffee out, if you haven't tried this hot chocolate, it's so nice. I bought it the other day from, where did I get this from? I think I might have just picked it up in like B&M or something because I haven't tried it before. Um, and it's the honeycomb one. It's so nice. Like it's just really like, I don't know. It kind of tastes like salted caramel, but yeah, it's really, really nice. I had some of that last night. So I am going to take you guys upstairs because, oh my gosh, yesterday I received the most exciting delivery to date. Da -da -da! The one, the only glossy box advent calendar oh my goodness this is something i look forward to every single year because the glossy box advent calendar is just always incredible so this year they've done like a set of drawers oh my goodness how exciting i'm literally so excited about this i can't believe i'm opening an advent calendar in september i feel real naughty but I love it. As you guys know, I work with Glossy Box every single month, which means I have a discount code for you guys. So this calendar is actually worth over £390, but you can get your hands on this today for only £80 if you subscribe to Glossy Box. Now, I have a code that you can use, which is Gemma. I'll pop it on screen and I'll leave a link in the description box. But that will get your first Glossy Box for only £11 as well. If you haven't actually heard of Glossy Box before, Glossy Box is a monthly beauty subscription box. Subscribing, you will receive a monthly box, which is always worth over £50. Filled with beauty products, skincare products or hair care products. Such a lovely little treat to yourself every single month. This is their advent calendar that they bring out once a year and it just gets better every single year like i said this last year i'll probably say it next year but yes i'm very 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 excited so as it's a little christmas unboxing i feel like it would only be right to pop on some christmas background music a because every time i select music to put on my videos i am dying to put some christmas music on b because i might have listened to Michael Bublé's Christmas album in my car the other day and see it's October, which basically means it's Christmas. Okay, because I'm feeling Christmassy and I love you all so much, I am actually gonna go ahead and open the big boy. I'm gonna open number 25 because I just feel like you need to see this calendar in all of its glory and number 25 is always just the showstopper, do you know what I mean? Like, imagine opening this on Christmas blooming day. Oh my God. This is actually like my eyeshadow palette of dreams. Look at those shades. 
Oh my goodness. So this eyeshadow palette alone is worth £45. So if you were to go out and buy this from Iconic London tomorrow, it would cost you £45. So already in just one of the boxes, that's more than half of the price of the whole advent calendar. I'm going to open a few more boxes. Um, I'm going to do a little lucky dip. I think I'm going to do number 17. I like number 17. Not entirely sure why. Okay, I don't actually know if you guys can see. But how long have I been going on about how amazing this face mask is? So this is the Himalayan charcoal mask from the body shop. Now this is incredible. If you're having a little bit of a breakout, like I'm having a little bit of a breakout here right now. And I find if I put this on, like I basically have like brand new skin underneath. So this is just a mini, which is really, really good to get little minis because I feel like you can try them out without committing to pay the full price for a big one. This little mini is worth six pounds, but the normal size one is worth 18 pounds. Now I think you could probably get about three or four masks out of this. Okay, let's go for a different drawer. Mm, okay, I'm gonna do number 20. This is so excited. I feel like a naughty child. Do you know what I did one year and I actually spoiled Christmas for myself? This is really, really, really bad. And do you know what? I still feel guilt for doing this to this day. Mum always, of course, used to get me like a chocolate advent calendar. And I used to open the back of it, take the chocolates out, eat them all. Because I was having like a moment where I needed chocolate. And then I'd put it back in and like every day she'd be like it's time to open your advent calendar and i'd pretend to eat the chocolate and i feel awful to this day i'd literally be like mm. and she would say what shape did you get today and i'd be like snowman I feel like that naughty child again but it's fine i'm doing it for you guys you know <gasps> oh my god so in number 20 i have got one of the huda beauty bullet i think these are called a bullet lipstick um but i've actually already got this and it's a really lovely like warm nudie kind of color like very 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 autumn winter but these lipsticks are beautiful they're like a matte but they're super creamy like they're not drying at all and this one is in shade wedding day and if you were to go out and just buy this it would be 22 pounds okay let's do one more box because i am just gonna get carried away and I'm going to end up opening the whole advent calendar. Okay, last but definitely not least, I'm going to go for number 15. Okay, so in number 15, we have got something from Fenty Beauty. It is a shimmer skin stick. Do you know what? I've never actually tried anything from Fenty Beauty. Oh my god, how unreal is the packaging? Oh my god. Am I allowed to do a tester? I don't know. Is that too far? It's October. Let's do the tester. Oh my goodness <gasps> i need to come close so you can see that wow so i'm guessing this is like a shimmer stick that you could put on your face you could put it obviously on your collarbones and stuff like that but that is absolutely beautiful it's, it's like a bronzy goldy kind of glow and the fenty beauty shimmer stick is worth 21 pounds so i hope you've enjoyed a little slice of christmas this morning i am going to put this far far away now because I feel like just opening it up. And like I said, you can use my code, which is Gemma, and it will get your October box for £11, and also the Glossy Box Advent Calendar for only £80. Okay, my loves, my plan for now is I'm going to drink my coffee, jump in the shower, do something with my hair and face, and then I think we're going to head over to Rushton Lakes haven't already get yourself a drink get cozy get some snacks and i really really hope you enjoy this vlog give me a reason to get out of bed i need a minute to think or maybe two because yesterday control and said some things I felt that you should know I need a day to clear my mind and leave it all behind so little outfit of the day is first of all we have Jamie's favorite jacket walk downstairs and I was just looked at in disgust what is it why do you have such a vendetta against this jacket okay. what's wrong with it It's just the uh, whole bombiness of it. <laughs> I like.
like it because I've got a few reasons, right? It's got huge pockets, so you can fit all your stuff in there and you don't have to carry a bag. And we're going to look around shops today and there's nothing more annoying than like carrying a bag. So I got this a while ago. This is from River Island Men's. Do you want to borrow it? No. I've also got on an Old Faithful top. I feel like I've had this for about two years um, from Pretty Little Thing. I love that top. You love the top? Yeah, it's a staple one. <laughs> and then I've just got on a pair of leggings because I just was not feeling jeans today. Jeans actually bring out the inner devil in me. Like, they just, they're uncomfortable, they dig in, and yeah. Today was a leggings kind of day, and then I've just got on some boots. It's a zippery day today, isn't it? Oh yeah, I've got a lot of zips going on, actually. I'm thinking about whether I should eat something or not, um, because it has been known before that when I don't eat in the morning, I um, can be a little bit moody today, and I don't really feel like an argument today, do you? I'm undecided. <laughs> undecided? No, I'm really I got this <laughs> new peanut butter that's like a chocolate peanut butter, and I kind of want to see what it's like on toast. But then that's I don't know if I'm hungry. Sometimes. Hmm? I was going to make you some toast this morning. I know, but I didn't fancy it earlier on. It's a little bit later now, and I'm kind of like, we're about to go on about an hour car journey. Do I just eat something before we go to risk? Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love this mug. I don't know if I've spoken about this mug. Layla got me this mug, and it's the cutest ever. Look at it, BFG. It is a cool mug. Isn't it so cool? When I posted um, the little video of Dad, so many people said he looked like BFG, and I used to tell him this all the time, and he didn't have a clue who BFG was, so he wasn't <laughs> offended, luckily. Um, but yeah, Layla got me this, and it's so cute. And it's like the perfect size mug. You know when you get one of those mugs that's just like gigantic? This is one of those. So, the peanut butter which I discovered the other day was this chocolate and hazelnut peanut butter. And of course I tried some with a spoon, because I mean, if you don't eat peanut butter out the jar with a spoon, I feel like you haven't lived. It's amazing. So I think I'm going to have some of this on toast. You used to know I love you. That's a lovely singing voice you've got there. So, unpopular opinion, but I personally love the end piece of toast is actually the best. Me and mum used to actually fight. Well, we didn't fight, <laughs> but we used to argue who was gonna have the last, who was gonna have like the two pieces of end toast. Cause it's just the nicest. I feel like you get way more than you do on a slice. I'm really excited to see what this tastes like on toast. I'm kind of hoping it's like a Nutella kind of vibe with a bit of peanut in there. Hey. This is really nice on toast. This is actually unreal. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's not really chocolatey, but it's like peanut butter with a hint of choc. It's nice. This is my current view. <laughs> also, weed update. They are getting longer and longer. Um, I've spoken to persimmon <laughs> a few times and they're meant to be coming to like, spray them down. Um, I did mention this before, my garden was extended. So they needed to kind of like turf that bit, but they've kind of just left it and left it and left it and it's got to the point where I have a weed jungle. Thank you. It's alright. Is it dry? Yeah, it's dry, yeah. Good well, job actually, because it's just started raining. Well, that's why I said it, Jim Bob. <laughs> I don't want to get wet, does it? Want to try some of this? It's so nice on toast. No, not that middle bit. Don't do that really annoying thing where you take a massive bite. <laughs> Isn't that so annoying when you like someone have a little bit and they're like oh. Do you want a bit? Not that bit. Here. Which bit am I allowed? That bit. Which little show me the Okay. You're allowed a bite. Can't really taste it. What do you mean you can't taste it? I mean you had a little nibble. So predictable, oh my god. It's like wrestling a dog with a toy. <laughs> my toes. Need a haircut. Would I highly recommend? Oh, it's just another vlog with Jamie saying he needs a haircut. <laughs> Yay. Look at my hair, look at my hair. I need a haircut. I need a trim. I need a haircut. My hair looks dead. I've got a COVID cut. Everyone take, everyone take a shot for the amount of times Jamie mentions his hair in this vlog. Because <laughs> I usually edit out, but for the purpose of this video, <laughs> I'll leave it in. You better get that bit of chocolate off your lip. 
not even any chocolate on my lip. I've got my teeth. <laughs> so, we are currently on the way to Rushton Lakes. Oh, God, getting some whiplash in here. We're going to Rushton Lakes for the afternoon. I've just booked a table at Bill's for two. Um, so we can get some lunch. We're going to have a look around. My camera's flashing red, but don't worry, everyone. I bought backup battery. batteries. I've literally got a pocket full of batteries. This is what I mean with this coat. Like, speaking of my battery dying, it just died. But yeah, this is what I mean about this coat. Keep batteries in there. I've got a lip balm. I've got a hairbrush. I'm going to put my tripod in there. I'm going to put my phone in there. I was just thinking about how cosy M&S makes me feel just being in there. And I think it's because me and mum go every single Christmas and get the Christmas food. So, like, my brain associates being in M&S with Christmas, which is obviously cosy and makes me happy. So, like, yeah. I just feel like if I'm ever feeling down, going in M&S would just solve everything. I remember that. Thanks. Never if starts I'm... crying. Let's go M&S. Yeah! That would actually be so good. Also, if you are a lover of M&S and you love Colin the Caterpillar cake, they have got these new, um, they're called like Colin's faces and they're these little like chocolate faces of Colin because that is the best bit of the cake but they're so, Who's so Colin? nice. Colin the Caterpillar, don't do this. No, I know who he is but not everyone does. Who is he then? It's Colin the Caterpillar, he's the log roll. <laughs> the log roll? Isn't he? Chocolate log. I think it's either just roll or log. I don't think it's a log roll. Okay, first stop is Bill's. Um, we were going to go shopping first, but it was just very windy, so we decided to come for lunch early. So, Jamie, I'm not going to lie, I've got my eye on this. Cheeky sharing plate. Halloumi and hummus plate. But my finger looks gross. I might have the grilled miso salmon salad bowl thing or i know it sounds nice or there's also this one which is smashed avocado feta and poached eggs they've literally got so much i haven't been to bills in ages and i forgot how much nice stuff they have or i might have where was the other thing that i wanted these i've had these before and they're so nice basically ordered the whole menu Starters, a little sharing platter, and then Jamie also went with the halloumi burger. I was then decided halloumi or chicken burger, but we've got chicken. So you've got best of both worlds. Sure, mate. Can't go wrong. Sure, mate. <laughs> We're having the hair conversation again. Well, this is why I'm so hair conscious because Jamie's just told me I'm wearing a toupee. So you said that have you went? You, when you say when we have a conversation about this, I've got a bit in the middle that goes like this, and I said like one of them men when they go bold, they put that piece of hair in the other thing. You said it's a toupee. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, thank you. Food has arrived. So this is the halloumi and hummus plate. We've got some bread on there, some avocado. Then we also got these little dumplings, which look so yummy. They're like goat, go, I don't dumplings. know about goat. And then we also got these, which look so good. I think I'm most excited to eat these. And then Jamie also got the halloumi burger. That looks so good. And fries. Yum. This is a lot of food. I know. <laughs> Should we do it like Lady in the Tramp? No. Cheers. Cheers. Not weird at all, cheers in dumplings in bills. Why do we cheers every day? Mmm. Mm. Right. Do you like them? The dumplings are delicious. Mm. God, this halloumi looks unreal. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to ask a bit about, about red onion. Well, you like red onion. Yeah, I know, but I don't really fancy the steak. It stays on there. But... Mm. It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may. I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow. I let my worries fade, let them sweep away. There'll be another day. So first stop is H&M. Sorry if I'm muffly, I've got my mask on and it's kind of suffocating me right about now. But how beautiful is this long teddy coat? It is 39 99 and 
oh, there's so much teddiness in here. There's also this really long shacket. Jamie literally laughed at me when I said the word shacket as if I just made it up. Um, but that is a I thing. Thought you made it up. <laughs> no, a shacket is actually a term. <laughs> what, what does it Shirt, for, jacket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did say that. Go Jamie just pointed these out thinking I would love them. Do you know what? I don't mind them. I don't really like the height. Do you know what I mean? I'm saying that is because, like you just said, you bought the Doc Martins that you didn't like. Oh yeah, and they're a you guys don't similar. know about that. They're a little bit similar to the ones that you got on. This is true, I um, bought some Doc Martins because I wanted to be like cool. You know like people look really cool when they edgy. wear Doc Martins. Yeah, edgy. <laughs> I just look, they did not suit me guys at all. I just did not look right in the Doc Martin. Loads of these shackets. I like these. They're really nice aren't they? I feel like I've got so many this colour though. Um, this is almost like a felt, very soft. That's expensive though. Is it? What, five and a half grand? Oh, wow. That's Icelandic. These look so cosy. They're only 12 99 They're like a little zip-up crop kind of jumper. There's cream, there's grey, there's... Oh my god, there's like a light kind of like brownie colour and then a darker brown. They're so nice. I feel like I want all of them. These they look, look so cosy. Yeah. They do look cosy to be fair. <gasps> They've got them in a light grey too. I want them in more colours. They've got lilac, they've got pale blue, they've got baby pink. Basically, they have every teddy fleece hoodie in every colour that you could possibly want. So, Jamie's picked up a shacket. Would you like to show? It's actually very autumn -y and the inside looks very cosy. Look at the cosiness of the inside. I do love this. It's so nice. So we have now ventured to Primark, we just stood in the queue and the first thing Jamie says when he comes into Primark is... Cool, that's nice. Shaniqua and what? He went, my name's Shaniqua and what? If anyone knows what song is that from, comment it below and also I love you because that is the best song ever. And zero to ten of how fitting that is for Shaniqua. Very. So, Primark looks kind of the same as it did a few weeks ago. I feel like they haven't got their new stock yet. Um, so I'll probably do a new in Primark. I'd probably say maybe second week of October. I feel like that would be a good time. But, that being said, I haven't seen these before. And these are like a nude coated jean. I feel like I've come to the Primark at the worst time. Because it's kind of like all jumbled up. I feel like it's been very busy in here today. But, look how nice these are. These are like a wide leg knitted trouser and they just feel so cozy they're 13 pounds and they also have a matching hoodie oh my god i think primark are finally getting the cards in what's this one round here oh, primark knitwear is just the best hopefully they get some more like cards in this year oh this is like a poncho vibe got more cat pjs i think i need them oh my god expectation versus reality jamie that's actually tilly oh, i want these so bad but the queue literally like goes back to mars and it's really not worth it for some pajamas oh goodbye lovely cat pajamas i shall get you next time oh, hello everyone we are now back in the car i'm literally putting my heated seat on for the first up. time of course for the first time in ages and i'm so happy like does anyone else feel like that I just feel like it's been hot for so long that i'm so happy that it's cooler now and i can have the heat blasting on my face my heated seat on my jumpers on my coats on i'm just feeling good about that you look beautiful on that camera why on the camera <laughs> That's what I was looking Such a backhanded compliment. <laughs> I just popped into MS and got the best goods. Oh, you already have yeah. tin foil in my ear. Jamie's already tucking into his. Um, so, if you haven't tried MS cookie dough bites, mm, they are the best ever. They're so yummy. So, I wasn't aware of this, but today, Jamie kept referring to today as a Gemma treat day. So, I have literally been well and truly spoiled today. We were in House of Fraser because we had some time to kill before our table because um, we were like 15 minutes early and there weren't any tables. So we thought we'll go in House of Fraser because there's no queue there. Went in and we were just like chilling, looking at makeup. Um, I got a new lipstick, which I'll show you guys. I'll show you everything that we got when we get home. I've got it right um, here. You oh, have that. you? Thank you. So, when I was doing my makeup this morning, I realised I don't have like a nice warm autumny nude. So I picked up this one, which I love, which is Taut by MAC. Um, I'll show you this properly when we get in, because I'm ruining the story time. Um, and basically we were smelling loads of perfumes and 
we were smelling the Tom Ford ones and they were so, so nice, but like expensive. And I was like, I love this one so much, but perfume I feel like is one of those things. I mean, you, you picked it up and put it back down about five times. I know, like I really, <laughs> really, really loved it. But I feel like perfume is one of those things I have to be in the mood to spend money to buy perfume for myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not really one of them things that like... So then, Jamie found a men's one that he loved. And I just presumed he was buying that, which was this one. Which it smells so really good, nice. doesn't it? What one's it called? Tom Ford for men. It's so nice. Um, get so, I just assumed he was buying that. I was off just sniffing some other stuff. Um, and then, we got out the shop and... He Gemma got a little surprise. Bag. You didn't see me getting it, did you? I literally had no idea. And he got me so the now perfume we've got I wanted. You love a his and hers, don't you? <laughs> Gotta get to open it now. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. When he got it out the bag, I still had my face mask on, but my mouth was like this. Because I. I didn't see that bit. I was literally like. I couldn't see that. I told you my mouth is open. <laughs> because of your mouth. <laughs> but I was like, I just oh. didn't. I don't know, I just had no idea whatsoever and it was funny because I could hear him paying at the till and I just didn't even like bat an eyelid at it, like, I couldn't believe it, but thank you! That's alright. Oh minute. my god. Can we just compare? That bottle is so beautiful. I'm so happy with it. Cheers. <laughs> Mummy and baby, cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna spray some. The first spray. No spray, no lay. No Armani, no Punani. What's the wow. other one? No. No. Sp no splash, no gash. <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> you don't need a boyfriend. You just need a lollipop. Da, 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 da. Uh. Spray, no lay is my fave. I feel like. I feel like. Was that in the women's one as well? No, just the uh, men's one. What were you doing in the men's toilet? I just used to hear them shouting from outside. <laughs> It's a bit. It's a bit anisey. Like, it's I don't a bit mouthwashy, is it? <laughs> no, but I feel like we said that in the shop, but then when it I just calmed down. Yeah. Isn't it? Do you know what? I am going to go ahead and say, and I didn't think I would ever say this, but this beats Joe Malone pomegranate noir, and I never thought what? I'd say that. And that's my favourite perfume ever, and why I sell black opium. This is just like. I saw you keep looking at it. It's just, the smell is so different. Like I'd, I'd feel like. I've never smelled this on anyone before. I was well shocked when you whipped that out of the bag. Why? Because I just didn't, I just had no idea that you were getting it. Yeah, I know, I tried to hide it and she took forever scanning it through the till and you were stood literally just there and yeah, I was like. Yeah, I heard you paying you... for it though. I literally heard I you, you next to me. To be fair, well, I was bringing it over, I thought you'd see and then I, like when I got to the till and started paying, I was like. I love it so amazing. much. I actually can't believe you got it. I just feel, I just feel like, you know when you're like really shocked and you just didn't expect something? Thank you. Well, I'm glad you like it. I love it so much. Okay, the plan is now, it's actually five o'clock. It's gonna be getting dark soon. It gets dark at like what? Half six, seven now. <clears throat> Time flies when you're having treat days. It actually does, I like treat day. I love that when you've been out all day and it's like time to go home, take makeup off, get cozy. Um, so we're gonna go home. I bought stuff for healthy pizzas for tea. Um, will you be hungry later? I think so. Yeah. Before I forget, just wanted to show you. Oh my god, how satisfying is a new lipstick? Just wanted to show you the sort of colour of this. I wanted just like, you know, like a really warm nude. Because I hate like lilac y nudes. Um, so I thought this would be really, really nice. And this one is. This is in 616 Talk. The cookie dough bites. They got opened. Oh my god, yum. So nice. Like the chocolate is so thick and the cookie dough is just like so salty. They're so nice. Gemma knows the words to every single song going as well. You've just burped, haven't you? Jesus Christ. Where's that spray gone? Save money, everybody, acting like a New Year. Go uptown New York City, B. Wait, there was no singing when you gave me the microphone. You stitched me up there. Everybody dies, but not everybody eats cookie bites. You but. may have a nip. 
cozy cat pyjamas and wine on a Saturday night. I mean, does it really get any better? So when I saw, this is so hard to open. By the way, this is the best wine in the whole world ever, currently on offer in M&S. If you like white wine, then this is honestly so, so nice. Um, so earlier, when I saw the cozy cat pyjamas in Primark, I actually forgot that I owned a pair of cozy cat pyjamas. So I just feel like I really fancied wearing them tonight. So I am just about to make us, that noise is satisfying um some homemade pizzas i'm not like overly hungry from i'm having a spritzer by the way as well put seven up three in it it's like the nicest drink ever i feel like i can't really drink wine straight anymore and that sounds really pathetic but it just doesn't i don't know i feel like it tastes just not right without the lemonade so yeah not feeling like overly hungry after earlier but it's only seven and i feel like i kind of want to just get like dinner out the way so we can chill and drink wine because I know if it gets any later I won't feel like making food. So I like to have wraps as a base purely because I find them like not so heavy and they're like really thin and crispy. If you are trying to be healthy having wraps is a really good alternative to a pizza base or you can buy these in pretty much any supermarket um, and they make really really nice pizzas. So on top i am gonna put, gonna put the sweet and smoky barbecue chicken slices some little black olives and for tomato puree i got the garlic tomato one um they also do a sun-dried tomato one or they do one with herbs as well and then i got some german pepperoni i got sweet pointed peppers because these are so nice these are much nicer than like you know the bell peppers? They're a lot nicer, so I'm gonna chop those up really thin. And then I got four cheese mix and mozzarella, all the trees. So yeah, just make these like you would a normal pizza. These take a lot less time in the oven. Um, so if you are doing pizza wraps, they literally only take about, about 12 minutes in the oven, whereas these take about sort of 20. So cheers everyone. Four minutes. Four minutes till what? Jamie's just downloading films in the living room. Look at the bottoms of these pyjamas. They're like cats in loads of different cosy positions. This one kind of looks like a seal and kind of gives me Tilly vibes. This one's sleeping, this one's sitting up. Oh my god, they're so cute and they're like that real fleecy material. So, film of choice tonight is... What's film of choice? I forgot. We downloaded three. The rental. Oh, it's called The Rental. Um, and it's one of those typical ones where, like, the couples go to, like, this rented, like, villa thing. And then the landlord is a pervert, basically, and watches them and then kills them. That kind of vibe. Um, we also downloaded this other one that was, like, a documentary type thing. Which I felt like was a little bit deep for a Saturday night. So we'll probably save that one till tomorrow. And then we downloaded another one which was called rent a pal which looks good also. Call me boring, but this is genuinely my perfect Saturday night. Follow me out. are cooking away wine is flowing and i also just found one of tilly's favorite toys which i completely forgot about look <laughs> at your little paws tilly amy's got the duvet down <laughs> this means one thing I'm gonna fall asleep on the sofa again no come off it <laughs> come off it I am, I am not falling asleep down here. Please don't tilt it to go my eyeball. <laughs>
used to work in an office we had me and my friend James <laughs> had a um like a pen but it was like a disguised laser and it had a laser on the end and we literally used to <laughs> this is really really bad but the desks were almost like being like banks of four so you had like a lot of people facing you and we always used to like shine it in people's eyes <laughs> in the office <laughs> and no one knew where this pen came from they, they didn't like they would literally like glance up like they were going mad and it was so funny and then um we would take it in like meetings like big meetings and like when they were actually doing meetings they would have like a laser and they'd be like this means this and this means this and we'd have our pen <laughs> and like shine it on different parts it was so funny oh my god it was so funny i actually do miss them days quite a bit sometimes because it was just like funny causing havoc anyway i'm gonna check the pizzas and see how they're getting on <sighs> they look yummy the trick is to like not stand next to the oven when you open it because you absolutely burn your face off um but the trick is to try not to like burn the cheese and like cook the base does that make sense like the base needs to be like crispy but the cheese and it still needs to be soft i find that's quite hard oh my god they look so good let me show you they are looking good okay i'm gonna swap them over oh that's really heavy oh my god yummy i just wanted to say cut your pizza with scissors like don't bother with a pizza slicey or a knife literally scissors is the way forward i remember my mum used to use for slurring literally had a sip of wine and i'm slurring i remember my mum used to have um scissors and she what was that in? my mum always used to cut pizza with scissors and i used to think it was so weird but now i do it like it doesn't rip the cheese off because the most annoying thing ever is when you try and cut a pizza and all the cheese like gets dragged off so use some kitchen scissors obviously clean ones but like it's so much easier dinner is served oh my god yum i'm literally so excited to eat this dinner's ready like this might be the best pizza yet hmm that's more like a warning you better react Oh my god. Wow. I feel like this is the best pizza you've made yet. <sighs> this looks really delicious. What an, an, what an actor. <laughs> Sit down. Get out of my face. Sit down. Shut Sit up. down. Eat your bloody pizza. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Happy Sunday. So we are currently on the way to Starbucks for... Are you having pumpkin spice today? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to have my first pumpkin spice. Anyway. Um, you did just say you felt cosy in autumn, didn't you? Yeah. He's wearing his new jacket that he purchased yesterday. Couldn't wait to get it on. <laughs> so cosy. So last night, I feel like I ended the vlog quite abruptly. We had our pizza, we watched our film, and someone fell asleep on the sofa. We kind hey. of like you. We kind of like take it in turns to fall asleep. Um, so this week it was Jamie's turn to fall asleep. This week, literally this whole week. It's this whole happen. actually that's so true this whole week um and then we watched another episode <laughs> of ratchet it's with a d um still have no idea what's going on to be fair it's getting better and i feel like i'm just a little bit addicted to it even though i have no idea what it's about it's just random isn't it it's so random it's Kanye west <laughs> you always call this Kanye West coat. I swear to God, this one is new from Misguided. And I had one last year and I literally lived in it all year. And my mum had the same. And we used to say that it was like just like wearing a sleeping bag all day. Um, so I got a new one this year. And this one's even bigger, even puffier, even more marshmallow-like. A pumpkin spice latte. Can I have a pumpkin spice latte, please? Pumpkin spice latte, medium or large? Medium. Medium, please. Any cream? No, thank you. No, thank you? Anything else? Yeah, can I have a medium latte as well, please? Any sugar sweeteners? It's so nice. It's like compost. <laughs> We're just heading to the woods, by the way, going for a woodland walk. Um, I do prefer the drink <laughs> that I had last year, which was 
coffee frappuccino light with almond milk and two pumps of pumpkin spice syrup. Um, that one, oh, I missed it, it was down there. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> that one's a lot sweeter, but this one, it's nice because it's warm. It tastes cozy. I don't know if anything can taste cozy, but it tastes cozy. Basically, I used to see my dad like every Thursday, and well, we used to go on like we used to have like our night on a Thursday, so we do something, and usually how it would go would be we I'd get home from school, be like half three. We would take my dad's dog, Cujo, for a run down here, and like there's trains like just here. There's like a train track there. And um, it's very, very lovely down here. And he used to like chase the trains, obviously not on the train track, but like down below it, he used to chase them. Um, and then we used to go do the weekly food shop. And then we used to get McDonald's. And then I used to watch Nickelodeon. I think I dad would nap whilst I'd watch Nickelodeon. I don't have anything overly exciting planned for today. Um, I feel like we're exhausted after our shopping trip yesterday. Why do you always make out like we're boring? Why? We're not boring. You said we don't have anything overly exciting to do. This excites me. I'm going for a walk. Yeah. It does me actually as well. But not exactly. Plug some trees. Man versus fucking wild, but. <laughs> Is that the correct thing? Man versus wild? What am I talking about? Man versus food. No, I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about the wild. Ma have you ever seen Man vs Food where he eats like 20, like yeah. a cheeseburger with like 50 million burgers in it? I kind of like that program, but it low made me feel very sick at the same time. Apparently, they're doing competitions like that in that new bar in town. <laughs> well, <laughs> like Man v <-boo> Food. <laughs> when no, you can't like, stay out past 10, you like do Man v Food. <laughs> it's a grill. Oh, so it'll be like steak competitions and like yeah, rib yeah. competitions and stuff like that. Mm. I've never really understood that. Like, what's the hype with being able to eat loads? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, why Why is that, I don't know, why is that like a thing to do? Why do they feel so rock solid? Because <laughs> they've got gel on them. You gelled your eyebrows. No, it's brow setter, so it sets them in place. Wow. Day one in the woods of survival. That's the name for the TV program, Woods of Survival. Oh. And we're here with Gemma Louise Miles, a YouTuber. She has to survive on her own for 24 days. I think I could actually do it. I've got the sleeping bag. I was gonna say, luckily, she has her survival sleeping coat. Cloak? <laughs> survival sleeping oh. coat. <laughs> So Gemma, how are you feeling about your survival challenge? Positive. Positive? I feel like I can do it. You feel like you can do it? Should we get some good entrance shots? But, yeah. Um, Here she comes. What's that? Do you think they're appropriate attire? Yeah, they're just boots. <laughs> Jamie thinks these are a heel. They are not, not made here, for the just, woods. They're just a chunky boo. Jeez. Look. What's that noise? Branches rubbing on each other. No, it's not. It's an animal. I mean, that might have been. Did you hear that? Cinematography. I did get an A in dance. Did you? <laughs> this is the farm that my dad used to work at. And yeah, this was the house that my mum dad, brother and sister used to live in. I'll show you when we get there. It actually looks like such a cute little house. I'm sad that I didn't get to live in it. Cute. Is that a massive dog? I'm going to text mum and tell, tell her that we found it. What dog? So, many, many hours later, um, we've just been having a stalking sesh. Me and Jamie like to basically drive out to a really nice, like, cosy area, like, in the middle of nowhere, like, country-ish. Um, there's, like, loads of little cute villages right near the woods that we were at. Um, and then we go on to Right Move and put in like near like I don't know properties for sale near us and it comes up with loads of nice ones and then we find out the road they're on and we try and find them 
and do really slow drive-bys and like stare in them like freaks. We must look so weird when we do that. Oh, but didn't we? we actually did, and we did it before in um, Norfolk, didn't we? And we kind of might have like trespassed a um, abandoned house, but that was fun and also quite scary at the same time. It was like a unfinished. Yeah, it was like half built. Um, and we like snuck in the, we like trekked across the field, didn't we, and snuck in the back. <laughs> we up the ladders to get up the stairs as well. <laughs> oh yeah, there was no stairs built in there, so we had to go up this rickety old ladder. It was actually pretty scary. So, Sunday is not a Sunday. Without a visit to the local garden centre, come to Van Haag again two weeks later after the last time, hoping that that little Christmas bit that I showed last time where they had all like the curtains up so I couldn't see in there. I'm hoping that that's like... <gasps> you need some suspense on music. Jamie? What? There's a winter wonderland at the beginning of Van Haag. Look. The Christmas trees are out. You literally give me a oh heart I'm like, what? Oh my. Look. Is that Santa in the doorway? Yeah. And the Christmas lights. <laughs> Stop it right now. This is just a getting a bit of a joke now. It's almost see-through as well so you can kind of see in there. This is just not fair. So basically the Christmas stuff is there, but we still can't see in. So I'll give it another week or so. I'm gonna come every day and check, but it looks unreal and it will be so worth the wait. Oh my God. And I'm walking round and round and it looks more magical than ever this year. I can see, I know, I can see gigantic reindeers. I can see masses of Santas. I can see nativity. I can see polar bears. God. They've got the autumn woodland again. <gasps> With all the foxes. Oh my god. Snake peak. How incredible does it look? Look at all the pink. What's that oh my god. Pink? I'm not sure. <laughs> wow. So we've just got two teas. James got a sausage roll. And we got these again. Who remembers these from the last vlog? They were so yummy, but we're not with wasp this time, which is good. Mm. Yum. Yeah. Oh my god, yum. This one is scone goals. I think you were definitely right when you said um, cream on first, then jam. Actually, yours looks pretty good over there. Top scone Basically, maker. Right. Cheers. Oh, cheers. To take a little seat on the toilet, that's something I never quite thought I would ever say on a vlog, but here we are. I say many things I never thought I'd say on the vlog. So, it is now early evening. Um, I don't know why I looked at the window when I said early evening, if, there's, if there was going to be like a clock right there. Um, but we went to the garden centre, we had our scones, we had our tea, um, and then we came home. So it's now, I don't actually know the time because I've literally just got out of the shower. Um, but, I'm just having a little bit of a self-care from Sunday. Um, I'm about to use this Glam Girl... Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Oxygenating Deep Cleanse Mask um, which I've had for a while but I just feel like my skin just needs a little bit of a face mask today. I literally just had the nicest bath ever. Um, that's literally one of my favourite things about when the weather starts to get slightly, wow, I mean, hi. It's finally bath weather. The only thing that was missing was I need to take a trip to Lush this week because I need some Lush bath bombs. I just feel like baths aren't the same without a Lush bath bomb. Maybe this is going to bubble as well, which I'm kind of excited about, I'm not going to lie. So apparently this only needs to stay on for three minutes and the oxygenating micro bubbles will start to form within 60 seconds. They definitely are forming. Wow, but this is my favorite time ever, like four o'clock on a Sunday when you've been out for the day, you've come home, you've had a nice bath, washed your hair, got cozy clothes on and it's just time to chill for the rest of the evening. That's like, honestly, just makes me so happy. Like the thought of that just makes me so happy. <gasps> I'm excited to see what it looks like underneath. I mean, I'm gonna look exactly the same, but I'm excited to see how my skin feels. Okay, I think it's been about three minutes now. It's time to take this off oh my god it feels like a cleanser <gasps> i was not expecting this much bubbles oh god it's all over the windowsill Whoop. oh i'm dead impressed with that look how much foam it's produced like it just is never ending like the more you rub it the more foam is produced like i mean look at it growing on my skin wow bubbles are literally never ending like the more i'm rubbing my face 
the more foam is produced like they just won't go okay that took a while but my skin actually does feel unreal um so what i've been using at night recently because this is technically like my nighttime skincare routine a silic i think fix pads and they're from nip and fab i like to use this after i've cleansed or used a face mask or anything just to kind of like get any excess off because i find especially with a mask like that sometimes it can be like super sticky and then i've actually stopped using charlotte tilbury magic cream just for a little while um which makes me really sad because i love that cream so much but i've started to get i'm not sure if you guys can see these but they're like little white bumps on the side of my skin and they're called milia and basically what they are is it's when your skin i think it's when it produces too much moisture and it gets stuck in your pores and you can't get rid of them like you can't pop them or anything like a spot like they're kind of just there um and they do go because i used to get these when i was younger and i remember i used to use this really thick nivea cream and i stopped using it and they just kind of disappeared when i was on google last night like googling how do i get rid of milia basically it said try switching up like your moisturizer if you're using a really rich thick moisturizer it can sometimes cause these almost like under the skin spots um so just thought i'd mention that in case anyone else has these wonders what they are then yeah try switching up your moisturizer i'm gonna do that and then let you guys know how i get on um but i've got a new elemis pro collagen marine cream which is so nice um but this one's a little bit more lightweight so i feel like hopefully this will get rid of demilia i haven't been this pale in a really 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 long time like look at that i basically just morph into the wall and my top i'm kind of trying to have like a few days without fake tan um because i just want to get it all off let my skin breathe and then do a nice new layer of tan um we're actually going away next weekend so i kind of want to be like a tanned goddess for that weekend so my loves yesterday i received a gigantic box full of autumn goodies from coastal melt so i thought we could do a little unboxing and it's literally like a lucky dip let me quickly show you what it's like inside like I'm so excited. Literally taking me back to my childhood. Really he wants to look in. <laughs> so this is a box full of lovely goodies from Coastal Melts. And I've got a lovely little letter in here as well, which is so cute. And it also says everything that is in this box. So I'm going to go through everything. And I've also got a little discount code in there as well. So you get 15% off by using Gemma15. Oh my god, I'm so excited about my lucky dip. So, first things first, we have got 15 sample wax melts. I love how everything comes in a little sack. Little sack. God, this whole bag smells absolutely insane. So, in this little bag, I've got literally so many little wax melts, so I can try those. The okay, next. Oh my god, how? autumn winter collection oh my god look at the detail on this there's like a little oh my there's like a little leaf pendant love the packaging of this i just think what an autumnal little bag so in here i've got a little selection of the autumn winter collection wax melts cannot wait to burn those i'm so excited for my house just to smell of christmas I'm literally being watched also this room is having a complete makeover like i'm kind of changing it from being my office into more of my filming room um so i will show you the room reveal in my next vlog she literally loves like packaging she loves plastic boxes she loves bubble wrap no please no come on oh my god she's actually eating it but get it out your map dress levels a thousand I just had to prise polystyrene out of Tilly's mouth. And she's currently looking for more. <laughs> Desperate to get in this box. Can you smell the polystyrene in here? Can you? <laughs> so I've just unboxed everything and oh my God, everything is just so beautifully packaged. First thing that I'm really, really excited about is this perfume carpet shaker. So you just shake this on your carpets and it smells so good. This is in Sen, almond, coconut and vanilla. So I've got some little bags of wax melt, which are in the most gorgeous autumn winter scents. Then I've got over here three different reed diffusers, um, which look so nice. I love 
these little details which are on each bag like how cute and i've also got some room spray and i've also got three of these huge candles this one is in autumn return basically like autumn in a jar like smells of pumpkins it's sweet like it's so 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 yummy i feel like to celebrate october i am gonna burn this one tonight so my house smells of autumn i'm so excited how cute is that that would make the most amazing little gift for someone someone else's cats do this just sit on anything square like, if I pop, let me have it, can I have it? Can I? <laughs> if you put, if I pop a bit of this on the floor like this, she will lay straight on it. <laughs> Why do they do that? Is that comfy? That looks real comfy, Tilly. And then the next candle that I got is called Harvest Moon. This is Black Plum, Rhubarb and Peach. And then last but definitely not least, I love the name of this. It's called Warm Fluffy Sock. And saying those words just make me feel so cozy. And this one is Salted Caramel, Cream and Sugar. And I've just smelt this one and it's like the creamiest, sweetest smell ever. It smells like sticky toffee pudding. So another little cute thing about these candles is there's a quote on the back of each candle, which I just think is such a lovely little touch. So out of everything that Anita very, very kindly sent me, this has to be my favorite. Just because I feel like it's really different and I haven't seen many of these, but <laughs> just think how cute is that? I literally cannot wait to put this in my car. And this is in the Autumn's Return scent again, which is incredible. Like it's the sweetest smelling pumpkin spice I've ever smelt. Like it's such a, it's like a creamy pump. It's like a creamy pumpkin spice. I'm so excited with my autumn goodies. Tilly's just going on an absolute mad one in the background. <laughs> just see her darting around. It usually gets to about five o'clock, and and she just gets the zoomies and like runs laps around the entire house. My loves, that is going to go ahead and end my little weekend vlog. I really, really do hope you have enjoyed it. It's been so nice, as always, just to have you with me this weekend. And yeah, our plan for the rest of the evening is, I think we might order some Turkish food. So yeah, we are just going to chill for the rest of the evening. We have got a few films on our watch list to watch, which we downloaded yesterday. I'm going to light one of my autumn candles, going to get under a cosy throw, and just have a really chilled Sunday afternoon. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you've had the best Sunday and all the happy, positive vibes for the brand new week ahead. And my uploads will be as normal now, so every Wednesday and Sunday. Sorry that last week was a little bit, like, all over the place. I know that I uploaded on Tuesday instead of Sunday and Wednesday. Um, she's back on the paper. <laughs> uploads will be as normal now so i'll see you guys on wednesday at five i hope you've had the best weekend and thank you so much for watching i love you all so much